Okay. See if I can find me. Not yet. Oh yeah. It's fine to me. Need to shut the volume off. I always forget that every week. There we are. I remembered. Hi Shaz! Thanks for joining. Well, uh, we're back to the Edith Holden junk journal that seems to be progressing quite quite slowly. Um but I am only doing what you see me do. I'm not actually um, doing anything through the week. In fact, through the week, I've been doing this. Um, I don't know what to call it, really. It's a sort of boho stroke Indian stroke gypsy junk journal. Um, it's got got some vibes from all of those. Um, and uh, this is what I've been doing today. This little pocket on the front with this a secret little pocket in here with two journaling tabs and then on the back this is what I did yesterday and I uploaded it to YouTube and this is the most convoluted envelope ever ever made <laughs> but looks pretty now and I love all this really highly coloured decorative stuff it's gorgeous um, and then there's this one this page uh, with a little notebook in there on a, on a little belly band uh, and this page which has got three um, tags on the back you can journal on if you want to and it's held in place by this belly band going down here and there's lots of lace and lame and glitz and glamour whatever but I, I thought that this might actually transfer into Edith Holden without all the obvious glitz um, and so that's kind of what we're doing today. This is a different size to uh, look at these lovely, lovely um, beads that I've got hanging off. Really nice. Um, where is it? There it is. Yeah, our uh, the junk journal we are doing is a different size to this. It's uh, not as wide and it's certainly not as long. So I've had to sort of re rejig the size of the um, of these tags and in fact I couldn't get three meaningful tags to go on our page so I've made uh, we're going to make two for it so that's kind of what I'm thinking today hopefully let's have a look hello Karen how do you stick the paper in the little notebooks? Well, I'm hoping that we're going to get to that tonight, but just in case we don't, um, this is a, I've, this was just a little charm that I had, a, a wind, wind catcher, dream catcher, dream catcher. Uh, and I just stuck a brad through it so it can still move. I quite like that. Um, they're sewn onto one piece of card. And I just, I just literally tear them to the right size and then sew them in. You could stick them, each one individually. Um, definitely you could if you haven't got a sewing machine or don't feel inclined to get your sewing machine out. Uh, and then that just attaches through there just to keep it in place. I'm hoping we'll get to that stage tonight with uh, Edith Holden, but we might not. But in any case, let's crack on. Um, so as I said, we can only have two, two tags on ours because it's not um, not as big as the uh, Bohemian one. So this is the size of the tags that's going to fit into our junk journal. And this is the background. This is going to be one page with the tags on it. So what I've decided to do is I, I made a template and then I just drew around them. The template was too long, but that's fine. Jesus, what a question. Um, about the notebooks? Yeah, yeah just answered that oh, one. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't listening. That's all right. Yeah. Um, you know, I really need my scissors around my neck on, you know, the, the cord that um, people have their glasses around their necks on. I need that with my scissors because 
honestly, I get so grumpy when I lose them. And I lose them about 30 times a day. So Justin's got to stand up and, well, where did you have them last? And then transpires when you move the first thing on my desk. There they are. <laughs> oh, there they are. So this is just uh, coffee stained paper, slightly thicker than copy paper. Uh, copy paper generally is 80, 90 grams per square meter. This, I would guess, is about 120, would you say? Uh, Hi, Ziggy. Nice to see you. And hi, Carol. Thanks for joining. Thanks very much. Newton? Yeah. I think it's about 170. 170. All right. So it's it's quite substantial. Um, I'd still describe it as paper. I, I wouldn't describe it as card at all. No, it's Windsor Newt describe it as heavyweight sketching paper. Yeah, sketch they all paper. it all came out of a sketchbook, which is uh, probably a pretty expensive way of doing it, really. But it's what I had to hand. And when you need something, you need it, don't you? You're not going to wait for it. Perish the thought. Right, so that's my two tags cut out. Just so as you get the gist of what's going on, or if you've just joined. Um, we're using this as a backing paper. I've actually got two pieces. Mm, no. This piece. This is the... Oh. This is one side and this is the other. And when they're both made up, and all the stitching's done, I'm going to stitch right round both of them and stitch them together. Um, but it's a sort of nice green, a nice muted sort of green that I thought was in keeping with dear old Edith. So what we're going to do now is put some text over them. Let's just tear out something that's, a, that's about right. Ooh, that's tight. That is tight. So, yeah, I'll get both out of here, I think. So, March has come in like a lamb with the warm wind and rain from the southwest. Mm. My sister lives in Ripon and she sent me photographs uh, at the weekend of little lambs that are out there. Couldn't believe it. You, you can cut round this. I mean, you don't have to tear it. It's um, it's going to be cut round after anyway, so. Can you hear the cat crying? He's crying because he's just being a twit. That's the best word for him. He's being a twit. I don't really want the edge of the paper, the white bit. Uh, oh no! What on earth is wrong, Josiane? I hope you soon get better. Thanks for sharing, Shaz. If any of you feel like you can share, you're able to share, you know somewhere that you could share to that's not going to kick you off, um, <laughs> please do. I would be really grateful if you did. Right, so I'm going to stick that down onto there, leaving the text side sticking up. Yeah, but he's the oh, did he? The nerdy boy. So glue sticks perfectly good for this. Um, it's a strong enough bond. So I'm going to try and stick this so as the words are straight. If I can. Right, and I'm just going to use my um, bone folder. Just squash that down, make sure there's no lumps, bumps or air pockets. Lovely. And do the same on the other one. Honestly, I get through so much of this glue stick, it's ridiculous, really. Um, fortunately, uh, our local pound shop had it um, 
on the shelves there for a while but we bought all that they had and they haven't restocked so I'm thinking I can't get it anymore so I made best use of the offer while it was on anyway I think that's all right oh no 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 that's the wrong side that's the wrong side Say, but it was too late. <laughs> That'd be alright. This glue stick dries um, clear. Looks frighteningly blue when you put it on, but it does dry clear, so we're alright. Excellent. So I'll just take a wet wipe to that and just. There isn't much on it but might as well help it on its way. Just clean my glass board. Right so the the back of them this side of them is going to stay this colour because it's going to be a journaling card really if anybody wishes to write whatever they want to write on it. You know the handy little size for somebody's address, somebody's email address, phone number, directions, whatever it is you want to write. So once they're dry, which these are, they're getting that way. Just cut around the template, which then of course is now attached to the text. Because we're not putting anything on the back, they're going to appear to be curled like that. Um, they will eventually straighten out. Or you could just stick a heavy weight on them. If I put them under my seat, for example. <laughs> They'd soon come into shape. Careful how you respond. Right, so that's our tags done. Pretty much, apart from the fact that I do want to um, put a little picture up at the top, just to cheer them up a little bit. So I had, yeah, here's a picture. Now I need to kind of hold that up to the light and see where I need to cut that. This is a bit of jiggery poker, isn't it? So it's down there, down there. I'm just, I'm drawing the out, outside of the tag here so I can tear it inside that and it'll be all right. There we are. There's got to be a better way than that, but I'm afraid I don't know it. So, so I'm just tearing inside the line that I've just drawn so I know it's going to be all right. Apart from fancy light box. Yeah, I have got a fancy light box, but I haven't got it here, have I, to hand. To hand. And people at home might not have a fancy light box. Well, I hope you get better soon, Josie Ann. That's um, it's miserable when you're feeling poorly. So that's that, and that's going to go on there. Ooh, it's just going to go on there. Another little bit of tearing, I feel. Let's have a look and see. Yep. Yay, it fits. So before I stick it on, I'm just going to ink around the edges. I must say I've taken a real liking to, to this, this fossilised amber. It's kind of yellow. But unfortunately, because I've started using brown, I think I really should carry on with brown. It's just the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. So go around the edge of that. I'm just going to make it stand out a little bit more uh, on the tag. And around here. Let me 
we also need to put a hole in the tag so as we can put some ribbon or lace or something like that through it lovely i'll just do the back as well for the sake of completeness my old boss used to say that all the time you'd, you'd go home at night and you'd think great you know done that now that's finished start something new tomorrow you get in there be all these blooming post-it notes stuck all over your computer screen just run that again for the sake of completeness look okay There we are. That looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Looks looks very Edith Holden, which is fine. That's what we want. So let's put a... Oh yes, I've got something new to show you. I don't think I've shown you this before. Have I? I don't think so. Has anybody got anything to say? Share it to my group and page. You're a good one, Ziggy. Thanks a bunch. Uh, this is what you call a lanyard punch hole punch thing and it's for you know the lanyards that you wear around your neck with your work identity card on it and you know how they have oval slots where the ribbon goes through where they always print on some inane stupidity well this is one of those so you just do that punch it through and look can you see you get an oval you get an oval not hole which means i can then put lace through so yeah, I'm excited about that, and yeah, it doesn't take much, but you know. So I'm going to do that here. I'm just eyeballing this, so I hope it's somewhere like right. That might be a bit near the top, actually. That's about as far as I can get in, so it's going to have to be there. Ah oh, yeah, perfect. Great. So now I've got this wide hole. I can actually get lace going through it. I don't have to not restricted to just ribbon right so let's just put the other little uh, image of whatever it is uh, I cannot remember so it's going to be as exciting for me as it is for you oh yeah it's this butterfly I know it's not exciting I know that well it's quite exciting does it actually fit on there yeah I was going to do the same thing again I'm holding it up to the light that we are using to film by this is going to be a bit lower down but it doesn't really matter so I don't need to take anything off the top because like I say it's lower down I could have searched through the book and found a slightly smaller image but some of them are in the middle of other really really lovely images and I don't want to tear them up <laughs> who has Hello Caroline, thanks for joining. If any of you feel like you can share, please do. Get the joyous word out there. <laughs> I don't know what joyous word, but <laughs> any joyous word you choose. <laughs> There's got to be somebody out there who likes to see how junk journals are made. I'm hoping that you lot do. I'm hoping my regular people do. Let's see if that fits. Mm, not quite. Just going to have to tear a bit more off there. Does that fit? No. Yeah, it looks like it's hanging on a bit. I think it's just this bit here needs to come off. Yikes, it's quite strong this paper when you're just trying to take a little bit off. Just going to use my decal edge scissors here and just see if I can cut a little bit off there. Yeah, okay. Wow, that's so tight. How did I ever think that was going to fit? I don't know. Just merest of margins.
come down. Yeah, I think that's I think that's all right. I think people will be able to know that's a butterfly. So same treatment, brown. Um, in this instance, I'm actually going to go around the thing first because uh, the butterfly is so tight to the edge. I don't think I'll get around it after. It just, I mean, the, the, this Tim Holt stuff, it's called distressing. And it really does, does give that sort of aged look to things. It's... It's a, it's a bit of a pain, actually, keep doing it every time. But it does make a difference. Right, so I shall stick that on there. And you get loads of different colours. I've been experimenting with the colours yesterday for my uh, boho journal because I had, I've got turquoise and I've got orange. And actually, they looked really nice on my journal. That fits perfectly. What's all the fuss about? Right, so, oh, need my hole. I'm, no, I'll just do it anyway. I'm brave. I'll be brave. There we are. Right, so the tags are made. Yay, that's a good start. And now we need the band that keeps them in the right place. So they're going to go there and there. See, it's starting to come together now, isn't it? You have little faith. Uh, so we need a band attached there, attached there, and attached there. And on one of these, I have actually made the marks. Yep, this one, look. Mark there, mark there, mark there. Sometimes I honestly stagger myself. Right, so I need a bit of um, that papery card stuff. This stuff will do. Um, and I want it, I don't know, what, an inch? About an inch, inch and a quarter, something like that. And then I might give it the same treatment and put the... Uh, what text <laughs> hello where did you go oh i just went for a holiday you know how it is when you're doing a live you think huh, i'll just go for a holiday i'm just going to bring that slightly further in because um you can always tear a bit more off can't you it's a bit rough sticking it back on this is a fancy deckle edge ruler and you just tear your paper against the edge and it comes out like that oh you can't see it it's uh, like a torn edge it's exactly what it's like it is a torn edge so what's all the fuss just tear it I don't know I quite like these gadgets if it's a gadget and if it's available yeah, I, I'm, I want it. Simple as. So I'm just going to tear that. This is why I moved it in a little bit, because um, it's hard when you haven't got much to tear off. You need a bit to sort of pull against the ruler. Right, there we are. Marvellous. Now, that's going to go there. But what am I going to do to it? I don't really want to leave it just blank. I could put a nice long picture up it if I had such a thing. Let's see if I was clever enough to leave one out. <laughs> oh, sometimes I stagger myself. Actually, I do. So let's cut this at the right length. So as we know what's going on so it's there so 
I'll just cut, I'll cut that across with these because I don't know where my other scissors are. Right, I better cut the top as well, otherwise the bottom's going to look a bit weird on its own. Right, let's just check that we're all right. Yeah, we're all right. That's good. So if I was to use this, let's say, and use that bit right up to where it's been cut, what would I get in it? Or would it be better with that bit? Yeah, it'd be better there, I think. Hello, Maria. I don't think I recognise your name. Welcome from Germany. Thank you. Um, Karen was multitasking. Read for that. She wasn't paying attention. That's naughty. Uh, love the butterfly and swallow. Yeah, that made me laugh. It's a torn edge. It's a torn edge. That's what it is. It's a torn edge. Right, so I'm thinking that this bit here is the best bit because I'm going to get that yellow flower in and this yellow flower. So what shall I do? Shall I just decollege it again, do you reckon? No, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll just draw around it like loosely and then I can use my decollege scissors. I've gone decal mad. I literally have gone decal mad. Right, can kind of see that enough to. Um, these are not. You can buy Fiskars ones of these, and they're um, they're really good. I mean, all the Fiskars blade stuff is excellent. You know, the sewing scissors and all that, really, really good. These I feel came from the children's section in Sainsbury's, and I, I don't know what they were. A couple of quid or it's something. The place that let you loose. Yeah, no. I'm not allowed. I'm barely allowed out now. Barely. <laughs> it's quite sad, really. Oh, do you hear that? That's that's uh, just didn't get me a drink of coke. Because obviously I'm starting to sound like I'm a little horse. <laughs> Which is better than being a little elephant. I hope this is going to be kind of like the right size. But it doesn't really matter, you know. It's... it's Exactness is not not exactly the name of the game. Right, let's see where we're at then. Come on. That's just grand. I would say, wouldn't you? It's, it's staggeringly good. Cheers. Aldi Diet Coke, can't beat it. Diet Cola, actually. I figure Cokes. So I'm just going to stick that on there. I don't think there's any more to be said or done about it, really. That's the only thing with this. Is it? It's really tough to get the lid off sometimes. So if you're quite feeble or in ill health, then... Um, this is not welcome the... to the club. Yeah, welcome <laughs> to the club. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Right, so let oh glory. Let's stick that to the bottom. That's probably the best thing to do first off. We'll just follow it all, all the way up. I can't believe how well that turned out, you know. Turned out alright, didn't it? Look at it. Hmm. I think I've done it before. I honestly haven't done this bit before because I used fabric in the boho one. Right, oh, so let's just see. Let's just tease ourselves with how this is going to look. So that's going there. That's going in there. That is going in there. Oh, come on, it's looking really nice, don't you think? I do. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Don't overcommit just, yourself. I, no, I was just trying to work out which side it's going to hinge because you need to allow room for that. Yeah, well, this is the back. This is the back. So when it opens, it opens like that so you can pull your things out. I worked that out on the boho one. Yeah, I just 
So you need to move because you underneath that you might need to move your band slightly more up than you added to get your holes in holes for the ring binders. Oh well, they might just go through there. I don't know. They'll go through whatever's there. That's basically it. Um. Right. So I don't think there's anything more to be done at this present time, pretty. Yeah, it is. Oh, Karen's gone all blinking German on us. Well, 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 Karen. I did not know. So let's just make sure that we've got these in the right place. See, that's just really a tiny little bit long, if I'm honest. I was wanting to say it was perfect, but it is just a wee bit long. So... Right, so I'm actually going to draw a line with a straight edge ruler here. So it's half an inch in from the bot from the top and the bottom, for that matter. Just a light line, half an inch in from the bottom. And then in the middle, which in our case is three and a quarter. So if you're following me with your own journal, it's three and a quarter. Right. I'm just going to whiz over to the sewing machine on my rolly chair. It doesn't roll. That's it. Right. So let's work out where these are going. Okay. So I'm just going to do this in a straight stitch. Ah, uh, uh, yikes, you know what I forgot to do? Ink around this. And once it's on, I won't be able to do that. So, phew, that was close call. Close call, guys. The life and death procedure of inking. And nobody, not one of you said, yikes, you've forgotten to ink. Right, okay, so here we go again then. Make sure that your flowers go in, in the if you've chosen if you've chosen chosen to use a flower it's going up the page, not down the page. I think we're all right there. So I am just gonna use a straight stitch, just kind of on those lines of that I just drew. equally as well I, I just like the look of the stitching so I think it looks nice so I'm just reversing to begin with just to lock the stitches and then reversing when I come to the end as well just make sure that I'm not going to fall out and then down to the last one So let's just check that um, we've done that right and the, the tags actually go through. Oh yes, it's quite tight. It's snug, but they go through beautifully. So as um, Justin was just saying, this is a ring bound one. So I'm going to have to put holes here for the uh, rings. So I don't really want it to go through there. Otherwise, you won't be able to get them. Uh, so despite my cavalier attitude a couple of minutes ago, I've thought about what he said, <laughs> and he's right. Um, but, you know, I mean, this can come right up to, to there if you want it to. We're all right. So let's just, yeah, look at that. Snug, like I say, but you want it snug. You don't want them flapping about, falling out all over the place. So let, oh, 
that's no use for cutting your blinking loose ends off, is it? Not really. So trim your ends off. Some people actually leave their ends on. I don't like it. It's not tidy enough for me. I really like... I do really like tidiness, you know, and it's very difficult on that boho journal that I'm doing to kind of let go and um, be untidy, I guess. See, this is why I choose to do all the sewing before, um, before I stick it all together and what have you, because the back of the stitches doesn't really look very pretty because... If you think about it, the needle is pushing the paper through. So you're getting this little perforation that's coming through all the time. And it, it's just not pretty. Whereas on that side, it looks fine. So if I can find my rubber, I'm just going to rub out those um, pencil guidelines that we put in. Well, you didn't. I did. Um, I'm pretty accurate with them, I think. If you really want to, you can stick these ends down, but I think they'll be fine. Um, what else did I do on the Bohemian one? I did some bits of glamorising, I think. Yeah, stuck bits on here, but I don't want to do that. I've already put the um, swallow and the uh, butterfly on there. And I stuck various bits and pieces. Have we? Uh, Deborah? Hi, Deborah. Thank you very, very much for joining us. I hope you like us and I hope you stay. Uh, that would be nice. Yeah, down this side, on this one, I've put some lame. I don't know if, can you see that sparkling? And some lace. And I quite like that, actually. I might just um, copy my own idea here. Not with the lame, not for uh, Edith Holden. That uh, would be kind of wrong. See, look at the time. It's 20 to 7 already. And I thought I would actually get around to doing the boucle and everything else. And it's not happening. It's just not happening. It's, oh dear. Time just vanishes. It might happen. I don't think so. I'm exhausted. You know, since I had that flu at Christmas, I haven't really got over it. Um, well, I mean, I have. Obviously, I'm not full of flu anymore. But... I really do get, and and um, Justin's the same, we just get exhausted. This green velvet's rather nice, isn't it? Ooh, how'd you do? I like that green velvet. Oh, look, that was me trying out my lanyard thing. See if it would go through velvet. It did. I like that on there. I think that's really, really kind of classy. You can't see, but this is a beautiful, dark, deep bottle green. It's lovely. So yeah, I think I might put that on there. I am stitching with cream thread, so uh, it's going to be a bit obvious, but I don't mind that. Some no, no, it's alright. I quite like the cream everywhere. I am, however, going to stick this on first. And you can stick things on before you sew. Just be careful with your machine. If you've got... God, I'm if... <laughs> I need to rest after that. If you've got an, a, a modern, less expensive machine, be really careful when you're sewing through several layers of paper or card because they don't have, um, they're not built on a, on a metal frame. They're built on a plastic frame and you can do some irreparable damage to them. Mine's a, well, I'll say it's old. I don't know how old is it, 15 years, something like that? Uh, yeah, 13, I think. 13 years old. Um, that model is now discontinued, but I love it. Um, I wouldn't get rid of it unless I absolutely had to. And But it's an old one, and as I say, it's built on a metal frame. And as long as you've got a sensible size needle in it, something like, well, nothing less than a 12. Um, you might get away with a 14, but the problem with the thicker needles, you punch bigger holes through. So I think at the moment I've got a 12 in there. Wow, that is right to the top of there, but never mind, that's fine. So shall I put some lace on there as well? Or shall I wait till I've sewn that down and then just put a little bit of that down it? 
That's really pretty, isn't it? What do you think? I don't know if you can see this really well. You need to get you zoomed in. See, that's nice, isn't it? Hmm. Well, anyway, anyways, look, this this uh, green's got to get sewn on, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go and sew that on. We do have sewing cam on this week. Oh, do we? Delights of our viewers. Oh, do we? Do you see my fingers? Yeah. <laughs> when you're sewing something straight like this, it's really tempting to just hair off and go as quickly as you can. But just bear in mind what you're sewing through and have a bit of respect for your machine, that's what I would say. Nice and steady. I've actually just put this machine over here and it's not the, the best place for it. <laughs> I was squashed in the corner next to a load of plastic. Um, uh, drawers. So it's not a very comfortable sewing position. Nonetheless. Now I could have uh, swapped the thread out for uh, green, but I like uh, we've used cream everywhere else in the journal, and I like the idea of using uh, cream down here as well. It's just if you're not straight, it becomes very obvious. But you know, handmade, hey? One more stitch, perhaps. I'm just going to reverse a little bit there. Just lock all those threads in. Okay. Looking nice, looking mighty fine. Do you agree, guys? This is going a bit better than I thought it was going to go, actually. I didn't generally, I've got a snippet box now. Here is my box full of all snippets of all sorts of things. And one of these days, I'll show you what I'm going to do with them because they are all valuable. Um, so every little bit that cut off goes in my snippets box. And those of you that have followed me for a while will, <laughs> will know that's quite an advancement for me to have something so organised as a snippets box. And it won't come as a shock to some of you to know that for four days this week, I actually lost the entire box. Never mind the snippets. <laughs> so, um, but I found it again. I didn't need to tell you that. That was just a confession. Um, <laughs> right. So what was I going to do then? I was going to see this. I, I got this um, from the charity shop and it was, uh, you know, those, I don't know what you call them, those fancy bed runner things that you put across the foot of your bed that serve no purpose as far as I can see. They look pretty, I suppose. Um, but it was on the end of one of those, you know, hanging down. So I bought the whole shebang, cut the bed runner off because I didn't want it. Um, and now I've got this, which is just gorgeous and I love it. So I could just take one of these pieces and just put it down there. That would look quite nice, I think. Or I could get some of this lace and sew it down there so as that's sticking out the edge of the book that might be quite nice I don't know what do you think or something a bit thicker I haven't really really got much that's much thicker than as, as that 
Yeah, there's that. That might be. That would stick out if I'm like that. Or I could sew it on it and it would look like that. I just don't know. I, I'm coming back to these. I like these. I'm going to put these in here. That give me a better idea of what I want to do. I, I, I like them. I might move them slightly over and put them down there. Yeah, I like them. That's what it's going to be, guys. Funny, isn't it? It's generally the first thing that you've thought about that you end up going with. That's a bit. Uh, now, the one on the end is slightly larger, so I either have to cut it off or make sure that I put it that way. Let's put that up to where the sewing is. I could put that over the sewing. No, I'm just going to put it there. So this needs, because it's fabric, it needs something stronger, and it's going onto fabric, it needs something slightly stronger than the uh, Pritt Stick stuff that we've been using. Now I can't work out which is the right way. This is the right way, so that's the back side there. So I'm using uh, Tacky Glue, which is Aileen's original Tacky Glue, and I'm keeping it in this jug because... It's getting to the end of it and it was I was driving myself dotty by having to keep going like this all the time. So now I make sure that the end's on. Do make sure the end's on, otherwise you're going to end up with a right royal mess. And just put the end on, put it in there, and then every time you want it, the glue's at the bottom. How convenient. Let's have a look. I am human after all. <laughs> 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 Shaz, how wrong you can be. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Mm. I bought bed runners because they look nice. Never use them anymore. Yeah, I think I'd be like that. I say the beady things. Yeah, I think you're right. I like it. Yeah, Deborah, you've you've got to go to the charity shops with a different eye. You know, it's not things for you. It's things for crafting. And it opens up a whole new world. Um, yeah, actually, I went to the doctor earlier this week because I thought I should be feeling a bit better by now. And uh, I had pneumonia and a collapsed lung as well, as you know. And he said that it takes eight weeks-ish to get over flu. But pneumonia takes about 12 weeks, so I'm doing all right. So that's OK. I'm not worried anymore. So I'm just going to put a little micro dot of glue on each of these dots. I don't really want it to be massively too much because it'll come out onto the velvet and I don't think that that's going to be an attractive look somehow. So I'm doing my best to get glue on there but not massive amounts. And glory now it's all going to come over on the hands. Right. Let's stick that down systematically. If you ever get something like this and, and it's really not fancy and sticking for you, um, it will stick eventually. Um, but sometimes it needs persuading and the perfect thing to persuade it is a peg, ordinary clothes pin, because the, the, they're made not to dig into your clothes. So they've got quite a soft pad on them where they actually, uh, actually close. <laughs> what is wrong with me? So you can just literally clamp those on, um, you know, go up there and clamp them on. And then after half an hour or whatever, they're done. They're all stuck. Brilliant. Right, so we'll just remember that that's wet for the time being and try not to... Um... It does dry clear, this stuff, so most of your um, messes it will cover. Uh, she does have quite a few. 
Deborah, what did Deborah say? Great idea. Oh, thanks, Karen. Thank you for saying I have good ideas. Mm. Right, so I think the only thing left to do now is put some ribbon through these. We're not going to, obviously, at seven minutes, we're not going to get to make the book, which is a bit of a shame because I, I had my card cut. This is just to show you how organised I was. I had my paper cut and everything. But it's going to have to wait till next week because I've been too much of a chatty Cathy instead of getting on with work. Right, so what sort of ribbon should we put in this then? That's the question. That might be quite nice. Yeah, I quite like that. Should we use that? What do you reckon? I quite like that. This is the stuff that I dyed with Brusho. It was like cream cotton ribbon. Uh, and I made some Brusho up with water. Just stuck it in. Uh, and it took really well, actually. The man-made stuff didn't take at all, the nylon -y stuff. But you see, because I've got a lanyard, homemaker look at that see it's just perfect you can see that it's great isn't it? right uh so bit of glue bit of glue bit of glue sew it sew it yeah i could sew it yeah i knew i paid you for something that's a brilliant idea <laughs> i've been gluing these in my other journal it's the right for daddle Right. Oh dear. I don't know why I didn't think of this. Just have to move that a touch. Well, I never get that job done. These, you know, loads of people make junk journals that do not have sewing machines. They aren't mandatory at all. Um, I'm using my sewing machine because I love sewing. And I love the effect that you get when you do sew stuff in your junk journal. Let's see if that's the right sort of length or if it needs uh, to come off a bit. I think that's all right. Yeah. Do you reckon? So I just need a bit that's about the same length as that. Through my lanyard hole. <laughs> It'll take me a few weeks until, you know, the novelty wears off of actually having a lanyard hole punch. And then I won't mention it again, I promise. So back to the machine, same old thing. Bit of reversing, lock the stitches. Mm. Oh, got a bit carried away there. Lovely. So, I don't, I don't want to knock that, but I'm just going to be careful and put, pop that in. So I'm pretty sure that you could, I think the perfect place for that is just there where that starts. I'm just going to make sure that we're there. I think you could, if you wanted to, really decorate that much, much more. I am just going to put ink around the outside of that. Um, you know, I'm sure you could add pearls down here and all sorts of things. You could you could make this back page a, out of a collage of uh, Edith Holden things if you wanted to. But I just fancied using that and I thought that, well, I thought it would be quicker. I mean, it's transpired. It hasn't been that quick, has it really? But it's been fun. I've enjoyed your company tonight very, very much. I'm going to pop this on YouTube, I think, probably when I finish. Not that I'm anticipating anybody actually wants to sit through this twice. 
um, but over on YouTube there's quite a lot of my um, junk journal videos and stuff and if you could subscribe to the channel uh, Miss Paint a lot of course I would be so grateful um, it just helps people see the the uh, videos when I put them up right oh well, we'll go bang on time guys right is there any zooming to be had at all any zooming yeah zooming zooming here and zooming there Because it would be good if we could really zoom in on it. You may have to put it in a different place when I really zoom. Yes, Deborah, watch it again from the beginning. I'm not saying that we do anything uh, super exciting or whatever, but if you do want to use this as a page layout for your junk journal, that's good. That's good. Um, then, yes, watch it again from the beginning and you'll see how we... Um, I should tell you that this page that I'm doing now is six and a half by five and a half and these uh, tags that I cut I cut them with that in mind knowing that I wanted half an inch at the top and the bottom so the tags I think are two and a half let's check that for you I'm gonna see <coughs> oh excuse me uh, yeah the tags are two and a half and they are four and a half from there to the very top so I think I know I've faffed around and it's taken about an hour to do but I really think that you could do that quite quickly and without too much trauma even really which is um which is good it's always good so there we are another part of a page finished for our Edith Holden and next week we'll do the the other half, which has got the book in it, uh, Shaz, you'll be able to see what I do then. And um, I'm going to make it the same as this one. Oh, that's the right way up. Um, obviously, this one is much, much more embellished. Um, but it's, it's a little notebook that's held in place um, by a fabric strip, what's known as a belly band. Um, on this one I actually put some silk down here and some gold trim I attached this dream catcher with a, a brad there put lame fabric behind it I, it's the whole nine yards it really is can you see it all sparkly um, the Edith Holden one no I mean this is just not right for Edith Holden you know uh, very different beasts but we're still going to use that page layout next week so that's what we're aiming for. Look at all the hearts. I'm so pleased. Oh, I love to see the hearts. Thank you. Thank you, Shaz. Thank you very much. Thanks, Caroline and Angie. Oh, it's really nice that you've all joined tonight. I'm very um, pleased to see you all. So I'll see you next Thursday, six o'clock. Don't be late. <laughs> Thank you again. Bye.